Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Rosie Cooks. So, a friend of mine invented a very interesting product. It's called Easy Bombs, okay? And basically, it's the same concept as a bath bomb. You get this little thing like this. It is all the herbs and spices that you need to make bedia. Now let's get it out of the way. I'm not pronouncing it correctly. I cannot roll my tongue to pronounce the double R in Spanish. Bedia is a Mexican dish. It's usually made with goat, but here in the States, it's most of the time it's made with uh, roast beef. I'm gonna make it with roast beef in a crock pot. So usually to make bedia, you need chili peppers and onions and garlic, and it's just this big process. But using the Easy Bomb, all you do is to throw this in, add water and your beef, and it's just that easy. So we're gonna make this. We're gonna use, we're gonna make bedia using an Easy Bomb my friend's company. So usually it's served as birria tacos. We're gonna make birria tacos, but I'm gonna show you a few ways to make this tasty roast beef. So let's get started. So here's my crock pot. I added two pounds of roast beef. This is my easy bomb. And now I'm just gonna add four cups of water. And that is all you do. Even the most inexperienced cooks will be able to make this. Okay, so I moved it over to the water side. I'm gonna cover it. I have it set on high, and I'm gonna leave it in for four hours. So here's my bedia. This has been four hours. You can actually cook this four to six hours. After six hours, it's just even more tender. At four hours, it's completely done. I've shredded it. And look at this. Look at this. I'm telling you, the broth is excellent. I cannot believe you can get this much flavor from that little round Easy Bomb. So now I'm going to show you three ways to use this delicious beef. So the traditional way to use your bedia beef is you get a lightly greased pan, nice and hot. You soak your tortilla in the consomme, the broth of your bedia, and then you add a good amount of cheese to your tortilla. And you cook it until it's nice and crunchy on the outside. Okay, now you add some of your bedia beef. And we're gonna bring it off to the side like this and cook it down until it's nice and crunchy on both sides. So now your taco is browned and your cheese is completely melted. This is ready to eat. You take a nice cup of your consomme, this is the broth of your bedia. To the consomme, I'm adding a little bit of onions and cilantro. So now you're just going to dip, you're gonna dip your taco inside your consomme and take a big bite. And this is a bedia taco. Mm. Here we go. So this is your second way to serve your delicious Easy Bomb Bedia Beef. Ramen style. These are ramen noodles, a little bit of cilantro, some onion, and a hard-boiled egg for extra protein. Look at this. And now you just add some of your Bedia Beef right here on the side. And this is absolutely delicious. Look at that. Yummy. So that's your second way to serve your bedia beef. So the third way to use your incredibly delicious bedia easy bomb beef is by making some taquitos. They're shredded beef 
taquitos. So this is the final way to use your Easy Bomb flavored meat. I made taquitos and you could always just use the same consomme and dip them or right here I have some guacamole and the meat is very flavorful because of the Easy Bomb. I'm telling you, I had never tried it. The consomme is delicious. I really didn't know what to think. It's like a bath bomb, but it's an easy bomb. All the flavor you will need to make media. Okay, so here's my taquito. Here's my same media, and I'm just gonna soak it to get some more flavor. Mm. Mm -hmm. My friend has really got a good product here. Easy Bombs. I'll leave you the link in the description box. This is really, really good. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm-hmm.